One of those likely ballot measures will be a transportation bond. Today, local transit officials have recommended an urban rail line with a price tag of $1.3 billion. KXA News has learned that line will likely look like this going from the ACC Highland Mall area through the UT campus across the lake on a bridge and then down East Riverside Drive. Today, I spoke with one of the consultants on this project and a strong opponent of the plan. You know, yours is rail. Saying no to rapid buses, the city unveiled a plan for a nine and a half mile urban rail line. So this is not a finalized plan per se? No, it's not. The Capital Metro Board and the City Council must approve the plan that will move forward to voters this November. Make Austin a, a, a place for people to live and work viable much further into the future than it ever would be if we didn't do this. Travis County Commissioner Gerald Doherty says urban rail will never serve enough people to make a difference. When 90 to 93 percent of the people elect to get in an automobile every day, you better try to cobble together every imaginable dollar that you can to first take on making sure that our roadway system is as complete and as robust as it needs to be, and it's not. What would you say to the people that say this plan costs too much and serves too few people? Yeah, I just don't think there's any merit to that at all. So if we're, they're estimating um, about 10 years after opening, and this is a very conservative estimate, that they'll, you'll have 16 to 20,000 riders. Um, the total cost of the project is estimated at 1.4 billion. You know, that's half the price of State Highway 130. Final details of what will be included in the November bond proposal and the estimated cost to taxpayers has yet to be determined.